everyone. We are the Prove Me Wrong team from ADN113. I'm Amanda. I'm Jars. I'm Ash. And I'm Court. Today we'll be, we'll be flying high in the sky, exploring our feature wiki results. So we have here our homepage, which includes our team members, our teaching area, our educational topic area, our year level, the task, learning outcomes, curriculum links, and down the bottom we have our authentic learning elements. On our next page on the slide here, our lesson plan page, we have our lesson overview table up the top, we have our lesson plans, and then we have our lesson plan extras. On our student resource page, we have all of our student resources from websites to books, to movies, to documents and interactive games. We also have the same on our teacher resource site. To create this wiki space, we came together as a group on the 23rd of April to discuss the task ahead. Doris, Amanda, Ash and Courtney have begun to discuss our best ways of communicating throughout the task. As we have all previously worked together in our studies, we chose Facebook as a means of communication because we were all in contact of it already. We created an event and titled it Ideas for our New Tech Task. The next week we went, we went around ideas on Facebook for our teaching area and year level. The following Tuesday was an online week for EDN 113. So instead of lectures and tutes, we met in the library and began to really go through the task details. Courtney had put together a small folder for everyone on all the elements needed to complete this task. This was a great place to start structuring our ideas. We then chose our teaching area science, more specifically atmosphere and climate. We then looked through, our curri through the curriculum and chose grade five to six. We chose the topic area of class and how they affected and are affected by precipitation, seasons, and global warming. We divided it into five weeks and split the first four weeks evenly between us. Amanda took what are clouds, Doris took precipitation, Ash took the seasons, and Courtney took global warming. We set out a basic lesson by lesson outline and went away to elaborate on our plan. We also established all our authentic learning elements. Over the next week, Courtney created the wiki page and added all of the details on our communication page. The following week, we uploaded all our lessons and discussed where improvements were needed. We then allocated the final elements of the task. Ash took the last five lessons and extensions. Courtney took completing the homepage and authentic learning elements and the lesson overview table. Amanda took the learning outcomes and the rubrics. Jaris took the student and teacher resource pages introductions. We all worked together on the, on the curriculum links. Over the next week, we were constantly using our communication page to specify the smaller details, such as hyperlinks, pictures, layouts, when each of us were editing the page, and general questions. We got together for our final day of polishing on Tuesday the 14th at Courtney's Student Village apartment where we had lots of sugar and nibblies to get us through the tedious task of editing. We uniformed out our pages and created our screencast presentation as a group. Although we completed many elements of the task separately, we collaborated and discussed in depth our plans over our communication page and in person, which consequently produced an overall in instructive and insightful wiki space. Okay, okay guys, it's time to get our head out of the clouds and come back down to earth. We will see you later.